In this session, we will do a quick setup of sales, and then we'll go through some sales. First, go to Setup, Security and Users, and Access Control. You can decide here whether you want to access sales directly or through the menu. I'd like to access it directly when I log in, so I'll check that off. We can also decide where we can zoom when we are in sales. We'll look at the other options here later on. The second thing I'd like to look at is in sales defaults. I'd like to set it up so it would prompt for a salesperson. And by using the rest of the buttons here, you can fine tune it. We'll look at the rest later on. I'll save that, and now let's do some sales. Since we have asked it to prompt for a salesperson, it's asked us to log in. And now we're ready to sell. We'll start by scanning for items. If you can't scan the barcode, you can type in the product number or the description to add it. For example, if I type in the product number here, it will find the product. If I enter a word like knife, it will give me all products that could have the word knife in the description. If, for example, I was looking for chef knife, I could type in parts of the actual words and it would find the product that matches the criteria the closest. When you are done, press Enter or the Tender button here, which brings me to the payment screen. These payment options could be customized, which we'll cover in another video. For this transaction, let's use cash to pay. And if it's cash, I'll just enter the amount or use the currency buttons, which you could also customize. Press Enter and the system will show us the change and the sale's done. That's what there is to making a simple sale. Thank you.